Hello and welcome back. This is Darius Torana and we are back on a kind of beating the arc challenge. So I am currently hatching up eggs and stuff and getting trying to get prepped for the dragon fight again. However, um, as you can see, all of my troughs are empty. So I figured <clears throat> now would be as good a time as any to go on a meat run. Normally I don't uh, record my meat runs. However, I think this time I might just because I would like to kind of talk a little bit and try out a story kind of thing. So basically what my plan is, is I want to let you guys get to know me a little bit better. Let you guys get to know who... Oh, I forgot I had stuff taming. I forgot about that. Um, I wanted to be able to let you guys get to know who Darius was. So what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to... Now, I thought about doing this as a sort of like scripted thing where I would come back later on and talk and we're going to try that too but for now what we're actually going to do is we're just going to run around doing a little chit chatting now one thing I am kind of concerned about is the fact that that dude was still on my taming tracker but there it is so I've got a Bronto taming up over here. <clears throat> um, you're probably wondering why I tamed up a, a trike, and that's just so that I can breed the trike, get some eggs and stuff. So we're just going to be trying to get two of each type of dino. Well, I don't know. That's kind of a secondary objective that I had. Um, but yeah, we're just going to kind of run around here and do some stuff while I talk to you guys. Now, one of the first things that I wanted to kind of talk about and have a quick convo about is something I'm not actually sure if uh, YouTube allows, which is talking about the devil's lettuce, I guess we'll say. We'll use a code word for it. The, the big W, cannabis. Um, so, I am a big believer that cannabis is good for people. I am pronouncing it weird for, you know, reasons like I'm not sure if YouTube allows it. I do know how to pronounce it. Don't worry. Um, now... I do believe that it is good for a lot of people. Um, there we go. Now, that being said, I don't have the greatest relationship with it myself. I have only tried it a few times, and I've tried it in a few different forms. And each time that I have tried it, um, it's gone poorly, um, let's just say. Now, what do I mean by it's gone poorly? Um, well, one of the biggest things that I mean by that is... Um, I just haven't had... I don't want to kill that because I don't know what level it is. <gasps> I haven't had the greatest luck when it comes to my tolerance levels. Now, obviously, I won't have a very good... There's another one. Um, I wouldn't have very good tolerance, seeing as I haven't tried it very much. But I'm still a bigger dude, and even not having 
drink much alcohol, I do have a decent high, decently high tolerance for alcohol. Um, now, that being said, um, when it comes to this substance and my relationship with it. So, my first story that I kind of want to talk to you about um, has to do with... Oh, I wonder if I can kill this guy. Um, it has to do with... Um, Oh, man, I don't even remember how old I was. I was in my early 20s, though. I was living with my sister. And she decided that I needed to try it. So I agreed, because I basically went along with everything my sister tells me to do. Um, and don't get me wrong, I did not try very much of it. Um, I went in... I smoked a very small amount and then proceeded to um, realize I don't know if I like this because I got extremely paranoid. Extremely, extremely paranoid. And I was been told that, you know, first time you try this substance, it makes you paranoid. So it took me years to try anything else. Years. Um, but, you know, when I tried it that first time, beyond the paranoia, it also just made me feel really fast. I don't know why I felt so fast, but I went around and just started to, like, vacuum the house and do stuff like that for a while but it did not feel like a while it felt so fast and then after that I just sat on the couch and really questioned my life choices um, I was not sure what um, to really expect from it beyond that but yeah um, how much weight are we at all right, we're still uh, having a decent weight limit here. So that second time that I tried it was with a roommate. Um, he convinced me that it would be a really, really good idea for me to take a hit from his... I can't even remember what it's called now. Crap. One second. All right, I'm back. So apparently, according to Ruby, what it was was a dab out of a bong. Again, I'm not sure if that's allowed on YouTube, so hopefully I don't get demonetized. Um... Well, not that I'm monetized anyways, but whatever. Uh, hopefully my video doesn't get taken down. Um, now, I do not do things half done. Um, I decided to take a very big hit of this dab. And needless to say... Um, I could not breathe. Um, it felt like my body was attacking itself. I got like this cough that was really sharp. It felt like my my whole chest was just every time I in took a breath, my chest just like seized up. It was bad. I did not enjoy that one in the slightest. Um now, that lasted what felt like hours. Um, I do feel like it was probably not quite hours, but it did feel like hours. 
my cat just invaded my recording studio. What? I'm recording. Um, now, all that being said, it will bring us to the third time that I have indulged, and that was with a gummy. Now, I will definitely say that, you know, me doing the gummy thing, this was kind of my fault. I was warned by Ruby that I should probably not take the whole gummy because she said it was a lot. But when she said it was a lot, I thought it meant that it was a lot for her. Now, let me kind of give you an idea. Ruby is about 105 pounds on a good day when she's soaking wet. She's like five foot two, very small. I am not. I'm 5'11", 265 pounds. Yeah, I carry my weight decently well, according to most people, but I'm a chunky boy. So when she said, oh, it's a lot, you should not take the whole thing, I was like, well, I mean, everything's a lot for her, so I'll be fine. Um, and at first I was. And then I texted uh, Jonathan, who I've played Fortnite with a couple times on here, and I was like, hey, dude, I just took a 100 milligram gummy. And he was like, oh, no. And I was like, what What do you mean, oh, no? Now, Jonathan has a very high tolerance for weed. So when he said, oh, no, I got scared. He told me that I should probably get comfortable and that in about 45 minutes I would start feeling the effects. So I did. I got comfortable. And then at about 45 minutes, I still wasn't feeling anything. So I was like, oh, man, this, that, that, that's a dud. That's weird. <clears throat> and then about another 45 minutes later, about an hour and a half after I took the, the gummy, I started to feel it. And I was like, oh, man, this feels kind of weird. And then I tried to stand up. Oh, man, that mm, I stood up, immediately fell back down and was like, oh, geez. OK, yeah, I'm feeling I'm feeling it good. And Ruby was laughing at me and she was like, do you need anything? And I was like, no, I think I'll be OK. Maybe some water. So she went and got me some water because I was starting to feel kind of cotton mouth. And then I don't remember a ton from that night. Um, I do remember feeling like I could not open my eyes. Normally I watch TV and listen to YouTube to fall asleep, but the YouTube sounds were making me nauseous. And anytime I would open my eyes, my whole world would spin. So I decided to not do that. And instead, I decided to just um, keep my eyes closed. I wasn't able to fall asleep, though. So I remember feeling like it was forever long. That night just felt forever long because I just was stuck on the couch with my eyes closed, feeling like I couldn't do anything. It was not a good feeling. And then... All of a sudden, I did fall asleep for I don't know how long, but then I suddenly woke up and vomited everywhere. And Ruby was still there watching me. There's a saber tooth down here. That's weird. Ruby was sitting there watching me. She runs and gets me a barf bucket. And she is kind of laughing at me because, you know, she warned me. She knew what was going to happen. So, I decided to not, um, uh, you know, I, I 
did all the rest of my barfing in the barf bucket. And yeah, it just, it felt bad. She brought me some more water and some bread. And eventually I finally was able to settle down and fall asleep. But, oh man, it just was not, not a great experience for me. So every time that I've tried any particular of those uh, substances, it has been a rough time for me. That being said, I have seen people benefit from it. So I know that like, it's fine and it has its benefits. They're just not for me. But yeah, so that's my experiences with, uh, you know, illicit substances of the devil's lettuce variety. Why are there so many of these megalodons and why are they all so low level? All right, I'm overweighted. There we go. Almost died. But yeah, so that's my my experience with those experiences with those. Um, let me know, you know, I guess in the comments if you've had any negative experiences, if you you know partake or don't. Um, I definitely have seen the benefits of how it can help people. I have really bad anxiety myself, and all it does is spike my anxiety more. I've tried both types, so I don't know if, you know, what exactly I am necessarily doing wrong other than doing too much, maybe. But I don't know. It's just not been for me. Um, so, yeah. Um, let me know in the store or in the comments what kind of stories you'd like me to tell on here. I've got funny stories. I've got serious stories. I've got... I, I, I live a very interesting life unfortunately i try not to live an interesting life but i do live a pretty interesting life weird people and weird things flock towards me so let me know if there's any particular types of stories you would like to hear next time i tell one i'll probably tell about this time that um i uh worked at walmart and had a gentleman bless me I guess you could say oh <gasps> did I drop all of his stuff really oh, I'm gonna have to go back and find it all dang it that sucks all right well that meat run was a bust but yeah um I'll probably tell about uh my Walmart stories next time um but in the meantime let me know what you'd like to hear and as always until next time keep on surviving <laughs>